that's guys good evening to all once again i'm here at the rock hall freedom village here in the parish of saint thomas once again this is the rock hall freedom monument a monument of freedom here at rock hall saint thomas I guess these are the benches and space for persons to sit down and relax. As I said before, Rock Hall was the first freedom village here in Barbados. The place where the slaves, the slaves settled after slavery in 1838. This is the freedom monument here. And the original landowners in Rock Hall, circa 1850. The names here. A little poem from the belly of a slave ship to a freeholder. The spirits of the African ancestors back on the enslaved souls, guiding them to the first free village. Standing tall in a sacred pool of water, the bronze ancestral spirits rise majestically across the ravine, symbolizing that any mountain can be climbed. Any turbulent ocean cross and any shackled soul can be free. It is generally believed that the seeds of mankind were sown in Africa. The spirits therefore represent all races. They are guiding all people to a place free from mental and physical slavery, to a place free from guilt and shame. All the vendor booths here. Rock Hall Monument of Freedom unveiled by the Right Honorable Owen Seymour Arthur, Prime Minister of Barbados, and the Honorable Cynthia White Ford, Member of Parliament, Representative for the Constituency of St. Thomas, Designer Mr. Stanton C. Haynes, Fabrication Morris Single Foundry, United Kingdom. And this is the statue here at Rock Hall, St. Thomas, Freedom Monument. Rock Hall, Freedom Monument. This is the Rock Hall, Freedom Village. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Thomas, which is to the center of the island. St. Thomas and St. George are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. So there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. But this part of St. Thomas is in close proximity to the west coast, which is in St. James, close to Ho Town. This is Barbados' first town. Ho Town is the place where the slaves settled after slavery in. I mean, Ho Tong is the place where the English landed, sorry, in 1627, the 27th of February, 1627, is where the English landed. And they settled in Ho Tong. You can see the only working sugar factory in Barbados, which is Portville, which is in nearby Blowers in St. James. And you can see all the Rahal village here. Theater here. So St. Thomas is the birth parish of my family, from my mother's side, my two aunts, my first two aunts, my grandparents, my great grandparents, and other family were all born and raised here in the parish of St. Thomas. But not this part of St. Thomas, but further up east in the parish. This part of St. Thomas is close to the west, and this will be part of the west side. My family from my mother's side is to the east, it's from the east of St. Thomas. Okay, we're at Shmahal, Rock Road area. The Freedom Monument here. At Rock Hall, St. Thomas. Once 
again thanks for watching no and have a blessed evening don't forget to leave a comment like share and subscribe to Dan Rides about better travel vlogs on YouTube and you can follow me at Dan Ride more on Facebook for more videos on Barbados. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think about the video. Thanks for watching once again and have a blessed evening.